Another week, another firing. Steve Bruce has been sacked by West Brom. Here is my reaction. Now, we've had some shockers this season in the Championship. This isn't one of them. Get your reactions in via the comments. I'll give you mine right now. Nothing much to see in the Baggies Club statement. Bruce is gone. So is Steve Agnew, Stephen Clements, and his son, Alex Bruce, who was also on the staff. Bruce arrived in February of this year at the Hawthorns, where it's been a bit of a revolving door in recent seasons. Darren Moore was interim turned permanent. James Sharn then did the playoffs and lost. Slavin Bilic did get the baggies promoted and was then fired, replaced by Big Sam. He didn't fancy the championship. The hot hand working there was Big Val Ishmael after his brilliant season with Barnsley, but that was also a dismal failure, and now Bruce has gone after just eight months. Steve Bruce was a brilliant player, and I'm a fan of a lot of what he's done and the longevity of his career as a manager, but this has not gone well at all, has it? I will say that a percentage, you decide how much of that negativity at Newcastle was really directed towards the owner, and Bruce kind of got it by proxy, not all of it, um, the ambivalence towards him, though, certainly permeated into his hire at Albion. The Baggies fans were concerned that CEO Ron Gourlay was just bringing in his mate, frankly, as an easy hire. And whilst I do feel it's fine to choose people we know and trust in our working environments, they have to be the right people and hopefully competent enough to do the position. I suppose we could give Bruce a bit of a pass for last season. He was following Ishmael, whose football was very bespoke, and the likes of Moat, DK, Clark, Hugel, all good players, were brought in to play that style. That said, West Brom were in year one of their parachute payments, and their squad was certainly better than what Bruce produced. His record from February through to the end of the season after he arrived saw Albion score just the 15th most points in the league during that period. On to this season, where it would be fair to judge Bruce on, and it's just been an abject failure, but not without his weird statistical quirks. West Brom secured the two hottest free agents in the Championship in summer, John Swift and Jed Wallace. They brought back Yokuslu and in came young forward Brandon Thomas Asante from Salford. It should be mentioned that the big January signing they put all their money into, Daryl DK has managed just 96 minutes in the past nine months due to bad injury problems. If you're struggling to keep up with all of these championship sackings, then the One Football app might be some assistance. Beautifully laid out news, stats, and info. They'll be across this Bruce story like you wouldn't imagine. You can download for free using the link down in the description and go and check out that baggy squad in more detail to see what the new manager there is going to be getting their hands on. Plenty of video available too, including Serie A highlights inside the app and one Italian top level match will be streamed for free every Saturday night. That's one football link in the description. Don't go via the app store. There's no doubt big picture Bruce's output at West Brom has been terrible, especially when you consider the power those parachute payments can give competently operating clubs. But we have all been amazed by Albion's ability to seemingly create and miss chances game after game after game this season. West Brom's attacking XG under Steve Bruce this season is the highest in the entire division. And in plenty of their games, they appeared to have done more than enough to win them, but conspired not to. Now look, calm down. Obviously, I understand that these numbers are helpful in understanding what's going on. Of course, they don't tell the whole story. We know that, and it may not be as simple as attackers just simply not sticking the ball into the back of the net. There can be balance issues, style issues, and players not being suited to the strategy that they're being asked to play when we do get such disparities. But you do wonder if just one or two of those hapless games had gone their way where the confidence would have developed. Ifs, buts and maybes. And that really has ended up being the key issue here for Bruce. Confidence. As this run of just one win in 13 games has gone on, 
and on. So confidence has just disappeared. Bruce has obviously lost confidence in the players. The players have lost confidence in Bruce. The fans have lost confidence in Bruce if they had any in the first place. And most importantly, so have the higher ups in the boardroom. Hence, this decision today. My take, look, it's a shame, empathy here, to see someone with that many years in the game lose his job, but for a year two parachute club to win just one of 13 games to start a season, whatever the circumstances, whatever the XG, whatever the numbers, it's just not good enough, is it? Yes, they should have won more games, and the numbers and the eye test do say that, but ultimately, it's the manager's job to find solutions to that problem, and Bruce just couldn't do it. Who's next? Who knows? There were big links to Chris Wilder pre him going to Borough. Otherwise, I'd be putting two and two together and making five. Let me know who you think in the comments. We'll see who they'll be coming up with. But if I'm being ultra critical, other than Slav and Bilic, they've really got all of the recent appointments wrong at the Hawthorns. That's my take. Get yours down there in the comments. I do think it's important to say, I'll get on my soapbox, particularly on this one and this person, given the nature of some of the discourse around Bruce this past few years, that it's probably best to be sticking to the football. And however acerbic or clever you think your character assassinations are of this fellow human being, they don't really add anything other than a bit of a vile atmosphere that I don't really want here. Hope that's okay. I'd love to hear your takes on football matters. So get them in down there on Bruce and his departure. Things move fast in the championship. Another weekend just complete. Now, if only someone had done a lovely review of every game, every team, every goal. Stay with the channel and get involved up there.